Hello and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be cooking up some a hamburger in the King's Travel Oven. <clears throat> so I've preheated it probably for 45 minutes and then I've put some bread rolls in there to toast. And yes, you can toast bread rolls in this. Probably a bit hot, but I'll just grab one and show you. Yeah, look at that. All you do is you butter it first and then just plonk it on and that gets hot enough so that you can toast your bread roll. How about that, eh? Now, the other thing, this oven, <clears throat> you can put your hands on the side, you can put your hands on the top. It doesn't get super hot on the back and I can show you underneath as well but I won't yes you can even touch it underneath <clears throat> so I just use the top part as a warmer I'll just keep you can put things you can put plates on there but I'm just gonna keep those bread rolls warm while I do the rest of this hamburger so yeah bear with me All right, so what we're gonna do now is, just open that up, make a bit of room, take that out. These trays, by the way, you can buy expensive trays for things like um, travel oven, etc., that are made for it by a company in Australia, which is quite good. Um, these ones come from Coles and they just fit this King's Travel Oven perfectly. And I'm just gonna give that a little spray. They are non-stick, but I find that they're not 100% non-stick. So what we're just gonna do is whack a bit of onion down there. And I'm just gonna put the mince patty on top now that will caramelize the um, onion rings as it cooks. And they'll also pick up those delicious juices. So there we go, that's our beginning. Whack that in. I'm just gonna whack that timer up because I just don't know how long we're gonna have to leave that in for. All right, I'll leave that for about half an hour and then see what it looks like and probably turn it over and then put some cheese on it and um, another probably quarter of an hour, half an hour, and it'll be done. All right. Okay, so. I'm pretty sure we've left this way too long. Partly because I got interrupted and <clears throat> had to actually do a bit further drive than I had anticipated. Um, so it got put in there for a lot longer. I had to turn it all down. I had to take the bacon out because the bacon was done. It was overdone. So, Bacon is nice and crispy. <laughs> so yeah, I, I think that next time I do this, it will be for a lot less time in the oven. I'm um, thinking probably like 10 minutes a side, if that, probably less probably put it in. I suspect last time I did this and it just seemed to take a long time. Um, maybe because I hadn't preheated it properly to start with. Anyway, I'm gonna hold into that and see if it tastes any good. And um, if it doesn't, well, I'm gonna do this whole thing again 
you probably still won't see this one. So, um, oh, one more thing. Um, I'll leave a link in the description. This is the third time, this is the third King's Oven I've had. <clears throat> the first one just stopped working. And apparently there was a bad batch, lucky me. The second one, well, that's another video. It actually nearly caught fire. And I was about um, 200 kilometers from anywhere. So the consequences of that would have been diabolical. It would have um, burnt my vehicle and everything in it. So yeah, so I'm just putting that out there mainly because I want to see if other people have had the same issue with this King's Oven. Anyway, I'll leave a link for that. Um, go and check it out. Cheers.